Energy Matters is brought to you by the National Gas Company of Trinidad and Tobago Limited. Energy Matters. So last Friday, hundreds of people across the country were affected by an adverse weather event, leaving hundreds of people, households as well, uh, without power for quite some time. Just today, Monday, uh, the Ministry of Public Utilities put out a statement saying that TNTEC has now restored power to all of those outages reported linked to the weather event. Now, of course, we are joined by Ms. Lauren Peters of Nuance Security and Solar Systems Limited to tell us about some of the options that may be available to people out there across the country, because every year we find ourselves in this situation where there's an adverse weather event and, you know, the, the power, 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 power goes. And of course, TNT has to take some time to get around to fixing all the different outages. So, Ms. Peters, what options are out there? for people looking on in terms of solar? Thank you, Ansel. Thank you for that lovely intro. I am Lauren Peters from Nuance Security and Solar Systems Limited, based here in the southern village of Faisabad. And what we do is we implement renewable energy resources for residents, for commercial entities, and even the industrial systems, because we are looking for a greener, more resilient community and sustainable future. Um, we have all these Paris climate agreements that we signed and we want to have a lower or even a net zero carbon future and low emissions. So it is very un was very unfortunate that you know some communities were left without power. And I always tell people that you know, God gave us everything free and our slogan is like, we let the sun be your power. So that is what we do. We implement the solar systems to have backup power for your home or even lower your energy cost because, you know, times are changing and the energy costs are rising and oil and gas, those hydrocarbons are depleting. So we want to continuously educate individuals about having a sustainable home and having a resilient independent energy household okay so with even having these energy resilient household by using these solar systems now you can protect your assets i mean things happen mm -hmm. climate change is is happening um, we have more storms, more stronger breeze than we ever, you know, have seen in Trinidad and Tobago and throughout the Caribbean and the world. And we need people to, to understand how important of having a secondary supply system, which is the solar systems that we supply and install. I mean, at the end of the day, you need to feel safe. You need to feel secure and you need to know that, all right, I can also be able to enjoy the benefits of the sun. So that is what I tell people to, um, to go solar, to invest in the systems, because let's just say your a next strong storm happen. And yes, God is a trainee, but at the end of the day, we need, we need to have that secondary supply. And what we have available is that we supply the solar backup power systems. We have solar cameras because you still want to feel secure. So in case of power go, you have your solar cameras. Right. You also have, yes, we have solar lighting. So you don't need the grid supply or TNTEC supply to have your, your lighting to move around and find. So we've long gone from the days of candles. We are now using the solar light. So, and, I, and I know you're talking about, you know, of course, you said your, your, your aim is to, you know, tell people to go solar. But uh, for the yeah. simple viewer looking on, they may say, well, that sounds like a whole big complicated process and, and I have to spend plenty of money. Um, tell us about what kind of solutions that you have for, the, as I said, the simple homeowner looking on right now. For any, anyone that deciding to go solar, you can start small. We have these solar generators. It's very small and compact. And all it is that it is, um, it have the panel 
the solar panel that you put out into the sun and it recharges the batteries within the system and you're able to put on what you have your emergency system such as your refrigerator so you can save your your food and you and you'll be able to survive throughout whatever is happening you'll be able to recharge your phones your, your laptops you'll be able to get wi-fi and have and be and be on top of what the emergency systems are happening so you'll be aware so these small systems such as the solar generators they start you know their 500 watts go up and resize the system accordingly but you have to understand that this is an emergency you just need it for what is vital and that you can now feel safe and secure right so you, so, you don't put on your, your gaming system to play any no, solar, solar <laughs> just because you know of course not no only emergency stuff yes and it's important yes. because of course now people are more people are working from home and of course with schools as it oh, stands yeah. right now uh, people are children are learning from home so as you mentioned say there's a power outage and the the, the child's laptop or tab that isn't fully charged then you can tap into this wifi. emergency supply the wi-fi of course um you That's can tap right. into that to help continue the class until um power is restored uh, from the grid yes everyone is working from home now and using a lot of energy so we have to understand having responsible energy consumption not because yes we have the backup supply but we can't no longer waste energy we have to conserve it so with conserving these these energy systems you're able to have the battery now being able to supply your emergency stuff longer so you have to be responsible as well so energy matters throughout every time energy matters <laughs> i like are you are you tired in the name of the segment um and people <laughs> who are wondering they may say well you know they've been hearing about solar for some time now um yes. as we know we're trying to do our part as well to um you know reduce emissions um but people be questioning just how reliable uh, is solar power if, for people looking on with that question what can you say to them well we're long going off these days with with cheap yeah, inferior batteries we have lithium ion batteries that have backup for for five days for 10 days wow so yes so with these lithium ion batteries you're able to now have supply throughout your home and for days so that when you know the rain is gone the cloud is gone you still have the renewable energy system and the lithium ion battery supplying throughout your devices so um, yeah any, 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 any other point you want to add because i know of course people you know i, I say it i think we're a, a country and a, a culture and a society we are more and more getting uh, towards you know conserving um you know energy in terms of whether it's on the cars hybrid cars and as you yes. see now some people are really trying to turn the corner um there are, i see people have solar power uh, you know lights in their gardens and stuff i actually have a solar yeah. power light in my, yeah. my little um flower pot in front of the house so we are getting there slowly um you know anything else you want to add to convince anyone looking on that say well listen solar is the way to go as you mentioned um this is this is, could be used as uh, an emergency supply as you mentioned and gradually it will help you of course lower your um, how much energy you consume on the whole yes well definitely you see just not only going solar it will help on lowering your energy bill but it helps with reducing the carbon emissions and the lower we we reduce our carbon emissions you know climate change what is happening you would now be able to have a better and secured environment you know so at the end of the day just convert into some type of renewable energy system would help you and your community so you really want to think about that with your future it also advances your your property as well it, you know it raises the property value and at the end of the day just having that independent resilient community itself you don't have to worry and that is what we don't want to do in our future. We don't want to worry about these energy systems and energy failure. So, well, yeah. You mentioned there are multiple benefits. Of course, cost is one, um, helping yeah. the, the environment, um, as well as, you know, as you mentioned, now, you know, with people who are being, working from home, learning from home, it's a backup supply. So if security yeah. as well, you can have your cameras powered by, um, you know, solar, by solar as well. So Even your water pump, your solar water heaters, this. 
There's exactly, so there are multiple there. benefits. And as you mentioned, there are solutions. Don't think of it as being this big daunting task to, or uh, something that's so complicated. As you mentioned, there are simple solutions and the, the battery is okay. to last some what, five days, 10 days. So it's, yeah. it's the technology, the, the, the system solar has really ad, has been advanced uh, compared to where we were some years ago. Indeed, indeed. So I'll let everyone know that um, you can contact us at 788-5486, Nuance Solar. When you Google us, you can get us on Facebook, Nuance Solar IG. And we are here to let the sun be your power. <laughs> right. Thank you very much, Ms. Peter, for joining us on tonight's Energy Matters right here on TV6. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Energy Matters was brought to you by the National Gas Company of Trinidad and Tobago Limited. Energy Matters.